catch me. I deluded you this long, and I can assure you I'm not about to get caught now. This morning at Dr. Watson's office, I took the liberty of relieving you of your gun. This morning at the gasworks, I took the liberty of removing the bullets. Damn you, Holmes! <laughs> there is no means of escape this time. Escape? There's always means of escape. In my time, I've robbed the Canadian of Egypt. I've emptied the Bank of London. Do you really believe I'm going to surrender to a two big revolting detective? I'm afraid you'll have to. Oh, please, the gun is empty. <laughs> I only emptied the first chamber. How else to catch a master criminal? No, oh, it's three stories! <laughs> Well done, well done, Mr. Holmes. Count Zielinski, nice to meet you. Now, do you come get the letters in the dead body, huh? The letters are not on the body. I secured them this morning. Ah, excellent. So hand them over. I'm afraid I can't do that. But why not? Because they compromise a young lady. A young lady who deserves better. A young lady who will not, I promise you, Pay for it with the rest of her life. But Mr. Holmes, the prince should be furious. You will have your head, you will get, get out of here. I never want to see you again. This is not over. <laughs> Count Zielinski, wait. Did you promise to give him the letters? Yes. Now that you see me in my true light, there is nothing left to say but goodbye. I suppose the friendship of yours was a pretense, a sham. I don't believe you. Why not? And the way that you speak. And the way you look. You're not the only one who can tell things from small details. Kiss me, kiss me, and then tell me you don't love me. <laughs> I don't. Damn, sling on my arm. Well, then you 
you shouldn't have invited your friends over to stay the weekend. And on Christmas Eve. But that's what makes it festive. Besides, none of them have any other family to speak of. Oh, Balderdash. I find this very odd. You were just two weeks ago. You need time to recover. I am recovered. I'm simply lame at the moment. Like Richard III. I'm not made what for sportive tricks. Go no, to court. Really? This is not the time with people I struck through them. those sides of a wall. Will you please stop looking at the door? I can't go to the door in my bathrobe, Mother. I'm not a centric. <laughs> You're a big help. I'm coming! Like living in a madhouse with a gatekeeper's on holiday. Hello? Who is it? It's Simon. And Abby. And oh my gosh, is there a speaker on the door or something? Mm, yes, dear. He's got a speaker phone and it's one of Willie's harebrained ideas. This is Gillette. Abby Wheeler. How nice to meet you, dear. This is amazing. It's like Flash Gordon or something. Where are you then? Oh, I'm in the drawing room, but I'm still getting dressed. You're getting dressed in the drawing room? Does it have a window so I can watch? Stop it, you terrible boy. The door seems to be unlocked. Shall we come straight in? Mm, yes, please, and bring the delinquent with you. Oh, holy smokes! This is incredible. This is Gillette? Aggie Wheeler. After all this time, I can't believe we haven't met before. Neither can I. I've heard all about you from Willie, of course. He simply raves about you. He's wonderful. Oh, doggone any fish dressing. <laughs> you wicked creature, you get over here. <laughs> Marry me now before the baby arrives. Oh, so. you. I've known this young man since he was an extra in Pride and Prejudice. I played Mrs. Bennett. I wish I had seen it. I had to pretend I was a little dotty and not all there. It was quite a stress. No, be quiet. Did you make your famous Christmas presents? I love your Christmas presents. Last year, we made your famous peace preserves. I was doubled over in joy for the next three days. This is for you. Merry Christmas. Thank you, dear. It looks beautiful. And Martha, this house is amazing. It must have cost the earth. Oh, well, you know, Willie, it never by halves. Uh, when did you move in? About three months ago now. And how was he feeling? Oh, he scared me to death getting shot like that. And now he insists he's going to catch a culprit all by himself. I say to him, Willie, you are not a policeman. But nonetheless, he locked himself up for hours in his laboratory. Do you have a laboratory? Oh, my dear. This house has everything. Watch this. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's one of his favorites. Along with the miniature railroad, the electric snow shovel, and the exploding monkey. <laughs> ah, that'll be my just feeling. I'll be right back. Hey, are you holding up for it? I think so. You'll be fine with it, just trust me. Right. Good at it. You're sure? Yeah. I want to see their faces when they're talking. They'll be like, what? what? Greetings and salutations. What country friend is this? It is Illyria, my lady. My brother. He's in Lithium. Chance he's drowned. Don't think you, sailor. It is for chance that you yourself were saved. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Cheers oh, to the rebels. Merry Don't Christmas. be nonstop and very drunk. Can you believe we've been on vacation for a mere two weeks? I already miss you guys terribly. Why, thank you, Felix. No, not you, you idiot. Aggie, why? I've been in love with Aggie ever since. Uh, there's my wife. Keep talking, darling. Bizarre Buddhist exercise. That was yoga. And I thought that was that white pudding stuff. That was yogurt. Oh, well, it smells like spoiled milk and has a texture of bone marrow. It's never going to catch on. <laughs> I can't get over this place, can you? I it was something, but I had no idea. Why would you build a castle in the Connecticut River? Why did Gillette do anything? The man's insane. I thought he was your best friend. Can I repeat, the man is insane. He built an awfully nice castle. It would be excellent for a murder. Why a murder? He has one. A uh, two. Three. As well as a rapier, two broadswords, and a brace of pistols. You know, if Connecticut's ever attacked by Rhode Island, this house will be the very first line of defense. <laughs> and the snow fell gently upon the little. 
little stable. And there in the manger made of wood was a boy child. And his name was Sherlock Holmes. Ah, uh, uh, oh, yeah. uh, yay. Oh, my goodness. And Madge, dear, how are you? How's your arm? Are you in pain? It's much better. Uh, thank you for asking. Simon, oh, God, how are you? Well. Good, sir. I see you all of us safely despite uh, wind and weather. It's getting pretty dicey out there. Blow winds, eh? Crack your cheeks. Spell! Dress the steeples. Drown the cocks. But even then, the morning cock grew loud. At sound, it shrunk in haste away. The knave turns fool, which runs away. Where is my fool? Oh, I think the world sleeps. To sleep, but perchance to dream. To sleep no more. Fall, he repeated sleep. Game set and match. Oh my god, I love you. <laughs> Felix, you scoundrel. Were you making fun of me down here? What? I do have proof. Why would he build a castle on the Connecticut River? Why does Jolet do anything? The man is insane. I thought he was your best friend. <laughs> and I repeat, the man is insane. What the hell was that? My latest goodie. Microphones there, there, and there. Oh. I can turn them on and off with the light switches. How do you play a back? <coughs> it's this device called a remote control. First developed in the 1903 Paris Academy of Science. Under development ever since. It sends signals through the air without wires. The military is starting to use them. You're amazing. <laughs> Hello, my darling. I brought some muggly so we can all really celebrate. Well, now you're talking. Let me help you out there. Looks awfully heavy. Oh, you dear boy. He always looks after me, unlike some children I know who remain unnamed. <laughs> no favorite thing, sir, but my own. How flattering will he? Oh my God, he'd be so irritating. Especially if he got shot. Be so proud of it. <coughs> By the way, where's Barnes? Who's Barnes? Our butler. Can you imagine we have a butler? I gave him the night off. You what? Well, you know, we're all family here in the side. It's Christmas Eve. Oh, Willie, how could you do that? And with your bad arm, you can't even help me. Actually, not really. I've been meaning to do this for two whole days now. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> Frame all the farewell to arms. <laughs> oh, uh, so Mr. Gillette, I suppose there's been no progress in finding the man who shot you? Well, the police are stuck, but I believe I found something. Like who? Not who, but what. Does anyone remember a note that was left on the stage around the day of the shooting? I do. The envelope was addressed to you, but the note was blank. Yes, and the police lost interest in it, but I've been subjecting it to some tests up in my laboratory. In the end, it was only a matter of trial and error. Take a look. I mixed a little sodium carbonate into it, so it's not just the heat that's doing it, it's also the chemical. Oh my god, look! Wait, do you, Mr. Holmes? Bang! You're dead. Wow, this was left at your stage door? That's creepy. Wait, there's more. Look. HBIII135. It's like a cipher. Maybe it's German code, like with Hitler and all. That's a good guess, <coughs> Simon. On the other hand, Aggie, could you get me a copy of Shakespeare from the um, book stand? Now, most people don't know this, but when Sherlock Holmes says, The game's afoot! In the Adventures of Abby Graham, she's in fact quoting Shakespeare. Which play? Well, H-V-I-I-I, Henry VIII. That's a good guess, Simon, but you're wrong. Henry VIII. Of course. Once more into the beach, dear friends. Once more. I see you stand like greyhounds on the slips, strained upon the start. The, the game's game. afoot! So, H-V is Henry V? Okay, so I-I-135 must be... Act 3, scene 1, line 35. At the marking. The game's, the game's afoot. afoot. Wow. That's quite creepy as left at your stage door, Mr. Gillette. Something doesn't seem right. Let me see. Oh, ah, it's a watermark. What's a watermark? It's an impression pressed into the paper when it's manufactured. It's sort of advertising. Oh, Christ. What is it? It's from the Palace Theater. Oh, no. I'm not following this. Oh, 
That means it could have been somebody from the stage crew. Or a producer. Or an actor. Well, you certainly made this a jolly Christmas, Willie. Oh, stop it. Someone could have just broken in and taken the paper, which in that case, no one here is involved. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to the swiper. To the, to the swiper. swiper. Ah, ah. Well, uh, now that we have our drinks out and we're feeling merry, I'd like to make an announcement. Go on. Well, Aggie and I are married. What? What? You mean engaged. No, married for four weeks. <laughs> That's amazing. Congratulations. Oh, my son told me nothing. My son told me nothing at all. Well, I was going to tell everyone after the run, but then the shooting happened. Oh, that's and... just amazing. Isn't it marvelous, dear? Oh, yes, of course, absolutely. Oh, you're so brave to get married after what happened last time. Mother. I mean, she is. Her husband died on their honeymoon. Mother, you can't just go along saying stuff like that. Yes, Mrs. Toilet, he did die, and I don't mind talking about it. <coughs> talking about it makes it more bearable. There. Are you satisfied? Now go on, my dear. I want to know everything. Well, there isn't really much to tell. Hugo, that was my husband, he and I went to Killington in Vermont, the ski resort for our honeymoon. Did you really? Oh, I hear that's very expensive. That's what I've heard. They think he was one of the richest men. That's it. I give up. Willie, stop it. I hate when people beat around the bush. It's like you and Penelope. You loved her, she died, and you feel sad about it. But it helps when people talk about it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Thank you. So go on, my dear. Phil. Well, my husband was an excellent skier, but he decided to try the Black Diamond Slope, which is the most beautiful of the resort. He was all excited, and he got all ready in his gloves, and his boots, and the attendant got all ready and everything, and then he stepped up down that hill as happy as I'd ever seen him, and, and then the ski sort of came apart or something, and his foot caught loose, and he lost control and crashed into a rock and died instantly. Oh, no. At first, I just tried to pretend that things were manageable, and I talk to people, but by the end of the first night, I was shaking so much I couldn't stop. And you were all alone. Well, actually, then she had the good sense to wire me. And I was in a show in New York at the time, and I came over and He dropped everything and came to comfort me. It was great. Oh, and the rest is history. Oh, how romantic! And I'll lose your brief sort of way. Oh, don't you start. Mark is ready. You have his face up to life, no matter what. If there isn't you to say a hell of a bastard, you keep on living. That's my girl. Let's cheer things up a little bit with some music, shall we? The happy of his um, equipment. <laughs> Clever, at least. But with the spiteful, wandering, dirty bitch, and he knows all an explanation as to why he's coming. Yeah. He all right, fine. He's writing a profile for me for Vanity Fair and wanted to come to one of our little weekends. 
Now, like it or not, Damien Chase is one of the most influential columnists in the country. His article alone gives me more publicity than if I'd shot Lincoln. So, as a courtesy to me, I ask you be at least civil to Mr. Chase and go get out your fannies and greet him at the docks. Thank you. Exit ungrateful guests shuffling feet. <coughs> Just like that famous painting in the grass, except all of her clothes are still on. 
Felix, my dear, how are you? Not as well as you, obviously. Oh, stop it. My beauty is superficial while <coughs> yours is. On the inside, <laughs> match. Oh my god, we go a ways back, don't we? I still remember when I was a youngster, first time in the city, how I looked up to you and all of your years of experience. My friends and I still call me father. Oh, stop it. That's impossible. You didn't have any friends. I had Felix. Oh, and did his everybody. <laughs> Damien! Let me introduce you to the rest of the gang. This is my mother, Martha Gillette. We've actually met before, very briefly at a party. But I do read your column. I keep it right next to the bed in case I have trouble falling asleep. Mother! That's a witty thing to say. <laughs> so <laughs> unexpected. Oh, oh, hello, Damien. Simon, you are looking very well. Uh, as to you. Uh, I didn't know that you two oh, knew. You. We met at Killington at the big weekend. I was there for the skiing and those divine parties. That was when your husband had that ghastly accident, wasn't it? I was so upset. If I had stayed, I would have had one of the biggest scoops of the entire year. Huh. It must have been quite upsetting for you. I'll bet you don't know they're married now. Yeah, for four weeks. Well, four weeks, three days, and six hours. I'm especially proud of the six hours. It shows I can really stick with it. The truth is, I do know about it, and I plan on putting it in my column on Monday morning. I mean, just look at the two of you. Your headline news. One minute your character actors, and the next minute you've inherited half the Pacific Northwest. Wait, what? No, Hugo didn't leave for anything. Excuse me, but I am a reporter. And when I was investigating the records on your marriage, I happened to see Hugo's little testament. He left you everything, didn't he? All of his millions? Yes, he did. What? Uh, Aggie. Wait, does this mean I'm rich? Very rich? Take me in. I'm like the 
committed onto the fan mail, sad and lonely. Uh, sure, of course. Oh, Aggie dear, will you take me in? I'm like a depressing uncle of the family, all full of myself and annoying. <laughs> Leave the door open so we can hear the music. Hollywood. No, but a good idea. A sledgehammer. 
I'll walk in the moonlight. Now, 
Listen carefully, Laurentia. Someone named Nogs, the stage doorman at the Palace Theater in New York City, was murdered recently, and we were hoping you could bring him to us so we could ask him a few questions. Are you willing to help us, Laurentia? Ah, thank you. Now, before we start, is there anything you would like us to do first? Okay. So, specific. Oh, 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 my God! Oh, my God! Put your hands on the table! Keep me. the connection! Now, Laurentia, is there anything you would like to say, dear? Laurentia? Laurentia? Laurentia, please.
operator. Operator. Oper yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I was afraid the line might be. Yes. Uh, okay, okay. Could you tell me, is there a taxi company in this godforsaken... No, 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 no. I said, is there a taxi company? T-A-X-I. Yes. Well, then put them through. Ah, how do you do? Now, listen. Could you send a car to the Gillette house on Collins Lane? No, 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 Collins. C-O-L-L. That's right. Yes, I'm sure it'd be quite difficult to get through the snow, but that's your problem. So now just send me the goddamned car. Hello? What do you want? I made you a nice cup of tea to help you calm down. I am perfectly calm, so please don't bother. No, no bother at all. And I'm sure everyone is perfectly sorry for hurting your feelings. It was entirely unintentional, you know. It was not unintentional at all. Your son knew exactly what he was doing, which was using the seance to his own ends. My son is in danger. You have to admit he has to do something. I admit no such thing, thank you very much. The police are handling the investigation quite competently, I'm sure. And just because your son has neurotic delusions of being Sherlock Holmes is no reason to make the rest of us suffer. He has no delusion at all. Oh, please. With his gadgets and laboratory, do you know, I think he is insane. No, really. Insane. A madman and should be put away. How dare you. It's you who should be put away with your mediums and your seances. Be quiet. I knew people like you back when I was in school. The mean ones, we call them. The malicious ones. They bullied people and spread rumors because they were insecure. Insecure? They were rude and they were vicious and they were just all around the world. Get out! Get out! Get out, you all miserable hag! And just remember, I am going to ruin your son. Now get out of my sight! Damien, hi. I just want to say, again, I had nothing to do with that seance, and I know I teased you a little bit, but I, I really didn't want to- Oh, grow up! Well, I know what you're up to. You want everyone to think you're just an idiot. But I am just an idiot! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> I don't want this to have any deal with trying to- Get out! Felix, I swear I'm not a word. Felix! Not. I want to let you know that what you did tonight was a call for. And I suggest that you apologize to everybody before something untowards happens. Untowards. Unexpected. Unfortunate. Now, take my advice. Listen to me. I know it may not seem like it, but I'm still your friend. Felix! Felix, get back here! Felix, I am talking to you! I meant to leave it with you, but I took it with me by mistake. It is everyone in this house insane.
nag, nag. You're all scared to death. Your help. Don't speak to me, Robert. Yes, I know you're a 
you. Look, it was stupid. The seance, the entire thing, I apologize. I'm groveling! But I need your help. Oh, I'm sure you need my help because you had to stage a seance. You had to pretend that my wife was murdered and what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> it's Damien. What's the joke? There's no joke. Damien is dead. <laughs> Not your mother, my mother! Martha? <laughs> Poor sweet Martha? She was furious because Damien threatened to ruin me. And this is going to be a lot to ask, Felix, but I need your help. Well, of course I'll help you. She's like my own mother to me. But what do you suppose we do? Uh, suppose we hide the body. Then we say Damien left right after the seance and we have no idea at all where he was going. Then when things settle down, we'll uh, get rid of the body. That does make us accessories to murder. Well, if you don't want to help your dear sweet Martha, who's been like a mother oh, to you. We can't let Martha go to jail. What kind of life has she had? She's been stuck with you for the most of it. <laughs> what are you doing? Getting rid of evidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at this thing. Just what I thought. There are fingerprints all over it. Do you know you're not Ashley Sherlock Holmes? Of course I do, Watson. <laughs> Good God, who's that? I don't know. Maybe it's the police to arrest us for murder. <laughs> Very funny. Hello? Hello? Good evening. This is the police. <laughs> Please. What can I do for you? Can you I'll come in? Yes, I'd like to ask you a few questions. But it's rather snowy out here, so may I come in, please? Ah, uh, yes, just give me a moment, please. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Good God, what are the police doing here? I, uh, I just remembered I called them after I found the body. Oh, great. But then I found out it was mother, and I told them not to call. Oh, so that makes it okay, then. Hello? Police? Yes, there's just been a murder, but I believe that my mother was the one who did it, so don't bother stopping by. Ha ha ha, I'm laughing behind the mask of horror on my face. <laughs> I took the body so we can hide it. Oh, God, he's so disgusting. Oh, 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 he's heavier than he looks. So oh, put your back into it. He must weigh a thousand pounds. At least in all the right places. Where shall we put him? Oh, how about the closet? Good idea. Push it back. Oh, gross. Just lift him up. Right in there. There. Uh, all right. All right. Be good. Just uh, you make sure he stays in. Ah! I didn't do anything. Hold it more firmly. All right, I'm getting the inspector. All right, that should be good. Everything will be fine. I didn't make that my fault. Oh, it's a stupid lock. It won't catch. Who built this place? The three little pigs? Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha! Come on. Oh no 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 no! Oh. Hello. I'm getting very wet out here. I can get a snow angel if you'd like. Uh, yes, go ahead. No, 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 no. Uh, just give us a minute. Wait. I have an idea. Of course. Oh my god, why didn't we just start there in the first place? I forgot about it. But it's your house. Come on. Oh, 
Uh, Inspector, I am so sorry to keep you waiting outside. It's okay, I'm going to play every comic. No shoot. Hello! There's no need to escape with Professor Moriarty. Already, I, I, rec I recognize you from Mr. Gillette's most visiting play. Did you enjoy it? I found it unlikely, illogical, far fetched, and I enjoyed it immensely. Especially, especially when you plan to treat it to your death. Thank you. I've always liked Sherlock like Holmes. Can't think that this is an appreciation. Such an instant. Such an instant. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't suppose there's much crime out here in Connecticut, eh? Oh, you'd be surprised. I have lots of pieces. I just can't draw them anymore. <laughs> I always miss the clues for some reason. And yet they do catch all the criminals in the end. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often turned in their bones. I thought I'd be an actor when I was a good person. I just never had the confidence. And then I got to know some blood, and that was all I needed. Blood will have blood. Is this dagger that you're looking for me? Actually, no. It's missing. Uh, what are you talking about, Inspector? The dagger is to the wall. This spot here. I mean, if you could just come away from me where the dagger used to be. Ah, uh, Inspector, uh, what can we do for you? Well, someone told the police that you were planning a murder. According to the operator, the call came from this house. This house? That's ridiculous! Then wasn't that what you called? No, not, not at all. all. Not at all. I see, and how's your arm? I beg your pardon? The arm work of where, where you were shot two weeks ago on the Space Door Theater in New York. You see, I believe that if these two events, the shooting and the call, are unrelated, and get quite a clean. Can't switch? Switch? No! Yes, actually, why? Uh, Inspector, the fact of the matter is that nothing unpleasant here has happened to me tonight, unless you count my rather poor singing of Christmas carols. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered a good joke. <laughs> sure. There are uh, these two Irish men, and one says to the other, Begora, what's a dead body doing on my living room floor? And the other one says, Begora, because the handle to the bar went in clothes. <laughs> Oh yes, of course. Uh, why don't you start in the kitchen? It's the furthest door down on the right. Okay. I'll just give you a minute. Hi. Is he gone? Not quite. Yes, he's gone. Now why didn't you hide the body? I tried to put the hide the body behind here, but then it didn't close properly, and I had to pull him all the way here by myself. You didn't press the button. Of course, I pressed it properly. Why else would you not be here? Okay. You need to hide it before the inspector gets back, and everything gets turned upside down. All right. Come on. Properly this time. I'm gonna go back to the others. Don't you ever, ever 
Ask me to cover for a murder ever again for you. Ah, uh, yes. Do you have any dementia cover? Ah, no. Uh, you see, our chef left right after dinner, and I've given the butler the night off. It, it's Christmas Eve after all, so is it? It is. Merry Christmas. Now, what about visitors? Perhaps you have some neighbors. Stop by. Perhaps you have some further. Eh? It's the hall. That kind of thing. I used to love the name of the neighbors on Christmas Eve. They have song, they have sale, huh? By the time we were finished, we were taking it home. Oh, that sounds lovely, but unfortunately that's not the case tonight. It's just been a quiet night with a few retiring friends. Holy hell, in a handbasket! This is just fucking now because this wants to talk me out of murder? Are you the police man? Yes. Good! Arrest my husband! Arrest him! He's guilty of sin, and of sin as it happens. <laughs> Madge, what else was I supposed to do? You admitted it right in front of everybody! Well, who pretend to be possessed tonight? Oh, look at me, I'm catatonic and I'm scaring my guests half to death. You didn't solve the mystery tonight. Well, it didn't work. But it could have. And the Academy Award goes to Madge, guys, well, for scaring everybody tonight. <sighs> Madge, you're acting like a complete lunatic. Get back here. There we are. Quite the lively box, John. We learn, Inspector Boring. Inspector? Has something happened? Uh, we believe that the man did a murder. Oh no! Who was murdered? That's the thing, crime, we're not quite sure. Well, uh, Peggy. Where is Simon? He was upstairs last time I saw him. Uh, and when was that? Just after dinner, everyone went upstairs. I had a glass of wine. I don't know why, but I was really tired. And Simon and I went to the bedroom, and I was just out like that. And then I woke up and Simon was gone. Simon, if you're here, could you please find the red intercom in your room? If you press it, it will open up the line between us. Simon! Lily, just tell me he's all right. Aggie, I'm sure he's fine. He was just with you a half an hour ago. She shouldn't have left me alone in the room. Hi, guys. I was in the kitchen getting a snack. Uh, 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 hi, I'm Simon Gray. Inspector Gordon of the Northwest Bank Department. Well, the police department, is something wrong? There's been a murder. Uh, not in this house, you think? I think I know there was a murder in my house. Where's Madge? What do you mean, where's Madge? She was just with you. And then she huffed and puffed and she's nowhere to be seen. Well, well, maybe she's in the bathroom. I checked there too, she's not there. Madge, if you can hear this, could you press the red button on your intercom? It'll open up the line. But hello, the intercom's dead. What about the phones? Hello, operator. Hello. Dead. Except that Madge is missing. This is thrilling. Feel it. She was just with you. I'm sure she's fine and not missing. Excuse me, but I wouldn't know if my wife is missing. And my wife is definitely missing. You missing? Match! Where have you been? I was in the kitchen getting a snack. You should have told me. Are you hungry? I'm very popular place. You know, speaking of missing people, where's Martha? Oh, she's upstairs asleep. That's right. Through all of this? Yes, through all of this. Wait a minute. Where's Damien? Damien? Not exactly. He was uh, upset. We had a little disagreement, and he was upset. Well, uh, just a huge argument, and he insisted on leaving. Wait a second. That's his jacket. Uh, he must have forgotten it. Damien wouldn't do that. But he would, though. No, I agree with Madge. Damien just wouldn't. Unless he was running from something. Should someone go check his room? I'll go. I'll go with you. You know, guys, you know where I would hide a body if someone died? In that hidden room of yours. Hidden room? I don't have a hidden room, no. Simon. You know what I mean, guys. This rotation is right here. Simon, Simon no! no! I don't know what you were thinking. He can't even fit back in. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Yes. Put him in the greenhouse next to a very beautiful orchid. He looks rather holy. Ask first. Oh, you're still mad at me, aren't you? You cook me by the hand, you tip me by Mr. Boggs. No, Boggs! So ever he was. Man with murder and you don't know if you're coming about it? Fuck! I was going to say something, but then a lot of stuff came up and it just got out of hand. But, Inspector, do you really think that there's a connection with all of this? There has to be, but there just has to be. You just can't see it yet because we're in the forest. Now, there may be some fish, but I think that the bones are still down. Hello? Hello, operator? Now, I would like all of you to go into the dining room and wait for me. I'll call you as you're questioning. And no funny business. Keep an eye on each other. No one leaves. I'm afraid it's worse than I thought. They all have motives. Now, I may remind you that I am the one in charge of this case, and you are by no means no doubt on the subject. But, but it's my house! That makes it even bigger for the question. You know that the house is inside out, and you knew about the hidden room. You know, when I think about it, you're as much of a suspect as I am. What are you talking about? It happens all the time in the murder mysteries. <laughs> the slightly odd inspector who comes out from the blue to solve a crime. But in reality, is here for vengeance for another crime committed 20 or so years ago. I don't see a badge. That's the office. Ooh, that is a likely story. You could have murdered me, and now you're using me as story? Hello? Mother? Uh, what are you doing? I heard a scream, and it woke me up. At least I think it was a scream. It might have been a teacup. Mother? Go back to oh, bed. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I am perfectly fine. How do you Are you a stranger here? Yes, I am. Oh, that's all right. I like strange men, don't I, Willie? Really? <laughs> How long have they been nice? Are you nice? I think so. Mother, <laughs> how many sleeping pills did you take? They make me sleepy. <laughs> all right, back to bed. Oh, don't be ridiculous. How do you do, Martha Gillette? Inspector Gordon of the Middlesex Plant Police Department. Oh, no. Mother. Oh, I just knew it would come to this. So you know about the murder? Of course I know about the murder. How can I not know about the murder? Mother, don't say anything. Willie, stop it. I knew it would come to this. Better that I get it over with quickly. It is a far, far better thing that I do than I've ever done before. Inspector, it is a far, far better place I didn't I want to tell you this in front of my mother. I'm afraid I'll have to. I killed Damien Chase. Willie! I'm turning myself in. Willie! Oh, Inspector, don't listen to him. He just tried to protect me. Inspector, I killed Mother! Damien Chase. The, the Inspector can clearly tell you did not kill Damien. You're too old. Come over here and I'll knock you down. Be <laughs> quiet. Willie, and how could I do such a horrible thing? I, I, I didn't mean to kill him. You didn't mean to? No, I thought. The inspector, will you, will you give us a moment? Mother? You must have realized it would have killed him. No, I was thinking, you can't treat my son that way. I'll make you suffer. I'll make you as sick as a dog. But you took a knife off the wall and it. Oh my god. You didn't do it. I didn't? What was that thing you were just saying about the sick? Um, I said I'd make him a stick of the dog. That's it! That's it! Well, Willie, what are you doing? Listen! Willie, I don't hear Listen! Anything. Be quiet! I, I don't hear anything. Neither do I. It's the case of the dog in the night. Mother, go find Portia. Well, what has Portia got to do with all of this? Mother, she may be sick, she may be ill, she may... Oh, Mother, go find her! Inspector! I retract my confession, and so does my mother. But I yes. We didn't do it, though. She's as innocent as a newborn lamb, feeding on the crest of yonder hill. Othello? I just made it up. <laughs> mother, how's Portia? She's 
quite ill. I should have knew that wicked man would do something to her. Do what thing? It's actually simple, really. My mother wanted to get revenge on me, not kill. So mother offered her something to drink. I'm assuming you offered him a cup of tea? Mm-hmm. And then doctored it. Well, not at first. At first it was just a normal cup of tea, but then when he became all nasty, I did go back and doctor it a little bit with some chemicals I had left in the kitchen. He said, on the bottle, covered his violent stomach pains. And I thought, well, that's just the thing. <laughs> but he didn't drink it. He threw the teacup on the ground, shattering and the liquid spilled all over the floor. And Portia must have licked it up. That makes sense. Oh, but I must get Portia to bed right away. Um, Mother, before you go, uh, I have a question. If you didn't stab him, then what did you think I meant when I went? I thought you were cheering me on. <laughs> <laughs> Go, mother. Go, mother. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> we're back in business, baby! And we got a murderer to catch. We? Now, let's review the facts. This murder happened between 8.45 and 9, which means within the 15 minutes after the seance. It's when Damien was killed. So, we have that to work on. I'm ready. And I know you may want to put me back there, but you do need my help because one, I'm not a suspect, and you know it. Two, I know this house inside out, and I know everyone here is involved. And I haven't ruled you out as a suspect yet. So shall we start? Calling him Aggie. No funny business. Aggie? Simon, could you please come in for a second? The inspector is going to take notes for me. I did not find that family amusing. Now, both of you, sit down. Uh, I would like to ask you some questions on uh, your relationship with Jamie and Chase. I have a question. And I met him at uh, Killington, Skewers Road. And when was that? Uh, about a year ago. And what were you there? I was. Um, in a play in New York. Um, I had done a bad review about a school student. Um, yes, it, I was too loose. Help me. Oh, you're so sorry. <laughs> Because 
that thing because I'll go for it. He's broken it that way. So while it's just a useless detail. So it's part of the call number weapon that you said he coming. <coughs> it is, I already inspected it. What?
the man house doesn't even begin to describe it. Uh, no! Nick, you're right. Uh, you are under arrest for the attempted murder. 
murders of Agatha Wheeler, the murder of her husband Hugo, and the murder of Mr. Damien Chase. Oh, wait, like me to wait a minute, I didn't kill Damien, she did! Liar! I did nothing to do with Damien, I'm not fucking! We could both be quiet. Oh. And I think I'll get my back to the other guy. You can move along. Idiot! You compromised 50 million dollars! So you were right about Aggie. What made you think of it? I don't know. I think going outside and getting some fresh air helped. And then I thought, how could Simon do it alone? Just loosen a strap on the ski? It'd be too unpredictable. He must have killed the poor man and sent him down the slope for Maybe they drugged him. I guess we'll find out in the trial. Trial? I don't think there's going to be a trial. Do you think they can beat the rap? I doubt it. But if they did, it'd make a good sequel. <laughs> Inspector? Well done. Thank you. We get our man, man, woman, whatever. <laughs> once more after the breach, dear friends, once more. We'll close the wall up with our English dead. If you need an actor, give me a ring. I, I might be available. Amazing. Aggie, who would have guessed? Well, actually, I did. What do you mean? She was too perfect, too satisfying. That's why last night I called her out here before dinner. She was near the bookcase. I thought something was up. She was a little suspicious. I thought you were at your program with me. Uh, Madge? Me? Felix, don't push it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Willie. Were you in love with her? I, I guess I was for a moment. But what is love, tis not hereafter. Present work, have present laughter. What's to come is still unsure. And delay there, guys, there lies no plenty. So come and kiss me, sweet and twenty. Youth's stuff will not endure. Ah, but sweet and twenty almost blew your brains out. Yeah, sweet and twenty usually does. <laughs> oh, Sack, Felix, be careful that. It is loaded. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. I only emptied the first chamber. How else to catch a master criminal? <laughs> So you're trying to tell me you unloaded the first chamber to all of these guns? Yes. Felix, be careful. It's not loaded. I can promise you it is loaded and very dangerous. Gillette, you need to get over this obsession of yours. I'm not actually Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> it's a loaded gun! Why would I joke about that? It's not, and I'll prove it to you. Wait, wait! Something just occurred to me. If Aggie and Simon didn't kill Damien, then who did? Oh, I'm sorry. I can hear all the pity at the moment. Something I have to do. Can't leave my fingerprints lying around on this. I think I would have created the bed bug. Mom? Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I had to do it. He would have ruined you. Oh. There. Now everything's perfect and we can all go to bed. Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs>